So I just got this Lenox S40 thermostat because our old, the really old, uh, white colored iComfort thermostat literally just died. Screen's dead, Wi-Fi stopped working, and I called the company, and uh, this is kind of error that I'm getting. So basically I'm trying to pair it with my, uh, the Lenox thermostat app that I just installed on my iPhone. The iPhone asked for a pin, and it's trying to generate a pin, but it's not able to. Um, so I'm not even able to pair this with my phone. Does look like the S40 has a lot of bugs. And uh, the user interface is actually pretty sluggish, I would think. This is the newest one that just came out a couple months ago. It will be, you know, a really fluid, nice user interface. It would work, you know, better than a Nest at least, right? But, um, yeah, it's, it's not even working. Um, oh, here we go. <coughs> So I gotta enter this pin into the app on my phone, and hopefully I could use two devices at the two phones at the same time because me and my wife both controls this thermostat with our phone. From what I heard, this thermostat can only be paired with one phone. So let me know in the comment section whether you can pair multiple phones or not. But this first impression of the S40, um, I'm actually not that impressed. Um, hopefully this one lasts. I ask. The dealer about the warranty they said one year uh, but i went to lenox website and it does say there's a 10-year warranty attached to the thermostat so really we really have to find out what exactly is a warranty on this thing because the installation with the th brand new thermostat cost me a thousand dollars okay it's it's not cheap it's definitely not cheap if you buy this on the second hand market you'll find the S40 for sale for around $500 to $800. Again, not cheap. Um, yeah, so this is my first impression. I'm pairing it with my app. And for now, <coughs> I'm going to enter this pin and see what happens. All right, so uh, after a second try of pressing the generate pin, I was able to actually get this all set up. And my phone is paired so I can access it just like whatever's shown on the screen to control the temperature, set away modes, and a few other things, okay? Uh, but in terms of functionality, uh, we only have a single zoom, and uh, this is a dual stage. Uh, the thermostat feels like it works exactly like the old iComfort, except it's a lot more expensive. Um, the interface is fancier. Um, you can't really customize the background or things. It only displays some basic stuff, like so. A lot of empty space or wasted. Uh, if you go into settings, there are some sort of notifications for filters and uh, uh, for other things. If you have UV lamp, maybe it tells you, you know, UV lamp needs replacement. Um, and user accounts is the account that I just created. There are display settings where you can control the auto brightness setting. So if I turn on auto brightness, if it's pretty dark, um, it just, you know, goes pretty dark. Uh, and it doesn't work it it's you know it suddenly goes bright suddenly goes dark um, I think it's better to just leave it at a setting that you like uh, the screen lock of course is unlocked I think if you do locked um, you might need to enter a code to unlock it maybe I don't know but it's a home thermostat so nothing we're not gonna lock it there is also a proximity sensor if you press it i guess there's a sensor somewhere here if you like walk by it's gonna show up just like the nest um but again i prefer the screen off so it's not as distracting um screen saver you have a power save which actually just turns the screen off you can use the weather when it goes into the sleep mode i think it displays the weather or if you turn it off i think the screen just stays on uh, but we're gonna use power save again uh, we don't really have to visit this panel as often there is also a home screen that displays the outdoor weather you can pair the outdoor weather with the accurate weather uh, or the sensor outside so for us we're going to use the sensor outside because it's more accurate for our local temperature and also you can have the option of displaying the humidity or not uh, there are a couple other settings all again basic settings for your temperature units and language you have french you have uh, spanish you have english Date and time, if you connect it to Wi-Fi, it's automatically set. Um, otherwise, um, you can manually set the date and time. Okay, if you are not using this for Wi-Fi mode, 
Um, the mode is set up in the settings. Um, so you have the Wi-Fi setting, you have away mode setting, current temperature. Um, for this thermostat, it's got a feel like temperature. So it takes into consideration of the humidity um, and the indoor temperature plus the outdoor temperature to give you a feel like temperature uh, based on the weather and the season. You can turn it off and use, you know, pure temperature sensor to set the settings. But for now, since we just got this, we're going to give it a try of the feel like um, we're just going to give a more accurate representation because uh, where we live, Miami, the humidity is always high. So the feel like temperature is always higher than the actual measured temperature. And for the fan, um, allergen defender, I guess you, if you turn this on, uh, it uses a circulation mode. And also you have to use a, a very uh, dense filter for this. But again, we're not use, using it. Um, heat and cool modes. There are a couple options over here. Just to show you guys whatever option that you have if you decide to upgrade to the S40 from the iComfort, the really old white panel one, okay? Uh, humidity, so um, there's a dehumidify function. Uh, you can set it to max or you can set it to normal. Uh, when it detects, it's too humid. Um, and uh, so we're just gonna turn this off for now because I'm gonna, you, not gonna use that. And uh, the fan actually spins faster, so it does look like it's supporting dual stage right from the setup. So that's good. Um, over here are the notifications that you can customize. Uh, there's a peak monitoring mode. So it monitors the energy use and it probably gives you some sort of a chart uh, to tell you when it uses most of the energy. Probably applies for the summertime over here. Now in Miami, it's pretty cool and comfortable. So again, I'm turning it off. Uh, the thermostat, this is a thermostat for us. You can add additional devices over here if you have multi-zoom um, and you want multi-zone temperature sensor, whatever, you might be able to add it here. Uh, over here are advanced settings. Again, I haven't gone into here yet uh, because for now it just works at a replace the old one. It works fine. Maybe in the future are going to advanced settings for you guys. Uh, so do subscribe to my channel and if I do have the video coming out, um, you'll be notified, okay? Um, and the system right now is registered to the app. So I'm not gonna hit uh, on registering the system, okay? Um, and again, that is for, <coughs> you probably bought, bought a used unit. You want to disconnect that with the old account and connect it with a new account. You're gonna hit this button. Um, but for me, again, brand new unit, so I'm not hitting anything. Um, here are the away mode settings. It looks like you can set the temperatures for the minimum and the maximum for the cooling. Um, yeah, those are the default points that you can set here. Current temperature, okay, I think we already went through those. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, it's nothing fancy. Um, I would much prefer a Nest because the Nest actually works to, um, the other place that I had the Nest thermostat, it works really well. Unfortunately, Lenox is not compatible with Nest, and this is a proprietary thermostat that's extremely expensive, and you're stuck with it. So, this is what you're gonna expect when you get this thermostat, okay? Uh, not cheap, and very basic functions. Here's the weather. Okay, so if you click the weather, it pulls from the AccuWeather and it gives you a weather report. Um, and again, the system is actually kind of sluggish. For today's day and age, 2023, I would think the system would be a lot more responsive, but it's not that responsive. Just feels like they had a lot of hardware limitations on the S40. All right, so that's the first uh, impression. Uh, again, I literally just got this two hours ago, um, showing you guys what to expect uh, and the basic setup process. Again, it's sluggish, nothing fancy, and it works. All right, so that's it.